everyone. Uh, welcome to another video. Uh, I make a lot of flags on the CNC and I glue up uh, inch and an eighth strips to make the stripes and then put my union in. I cut the union separately on the CNC. So the biggest problem is gluing them up and getting them to be flat because after I've painted them and everything, can't really run them through the sander. So Rockler has these four-way uh, equal pressure panel clamps that you make yourself. So about the one two by four will give me three 30 inch clamps that'll work out perfect for my flags. So I've got the two by fours cut to length. I've used the CNC software and designed all the holes. They're five eighths inch holes spaced two inches on the center all the way down. And then I'll just cut it in half on the table saw and that's what makes your, your clamps for your panel. So I hope you find it informative. Uh, the Rockler clips are about 36 bucks, 37 bucks at Rockler. And then a two before is about 10 bucks. So I bought three of these, one two before, I've got about $115 invested in this. And I'll end up with three really sturdy panel clamps. You can make them any length you want. So, you know, whatever you need. If you need four foot wide, if you need 40 inches wide, 24, doesn't matter. You can cut them however you want. If you don't have a CNC, it's very simple just to drill them out, either on a drill press or with a hand drill. It's just 5 8 inch holes centered on the two before, and then you'll rip it right down the middle to give you the two parts. So I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, subscribe, hit that bell button if you want to be notified whenever I post a new video. And just hit 200 subscribers, so man, I'm really stoked about the channel. It, it's, uh, it seems to be doing very well. I hope everybody's finding it interesting. Uh, shoot me comments, something you want to see. Uh, if you got questions about the shop or how I'm doing stuff, definitely shoot me a comment. I don't mind, man. I love talking about it. So thanks a lot. Have a great day. And here we go. Okay, cool. Got the, uh, the two pieces cut per the instructions in the manual, 5 8 inch holes, and then ripped it down the center to give the two boards. So we're going to open up the package. I cheated, I already took the plastic off to save a little time. So here's your two clamps. Um, you can see how they work here, and then you've got a really nice handle on here to be able to back this out. Um, just that they, they thought it out pretty well. So to be able to back it out and then tighten it down. Okay, and then this is your fixed one. It's going to go on the one end. So all you have to do, you have these turned. And your clamps are going to go under there so you're going to pick where you want it at so like if you want to um, to do let's say these small boards here where i'm going to clamp them up just to see what they look like i was figure out where i'm going to start bring my clamp in put my second clamp in at the same location so now that's going to be my back one Now we can get our boards in. Put our boards in. Get this 
guy through. We're going to get it up to as close as we can. Okay. So now we've got our clamp in. We're going to have equal clamping pressure down to keep everything in line. Now obviously you'd have more than one clamp. This is just a demonstration to show how it works. And then you just crank it up. So now when you've got this glued up, your clamps this way are going to be pushed tight. And you're also going to have the calls. So these act like great calls that are going to be top and bottom. And that's going to have everything aligned across the top so you'll have a really smooth surface here. So when you do this with glue ups, you're going to want to take uh, packing tape and tape up the bottom of your calls so that when you put them across here and you clamp and you get the glue squeeze out, it's not going to stick to the wood. So packing tape works great. Uh, some people use uh, painter's tape. I found painter's tape sometimes the glue sticks to it. So I like packing tape better. But there you go. That's the system. You can make it any size you want. I typically have uh, my flags are 27 by I think they're 13. So this is perfect for me. I can lay my flags out. I'll have all three call or uh, clamps set up so it'll be a lot more even. But you can see how it works. Pretty cool system. It's economical. You can get you know a lot more clamps for your money by just making your system yourself. Uh, you can see how it works great. So, got any questions or comments? Uh, throw them in the comments section. Uh, if not, these are sold at Rockler. I'm not supported by anybody. Nobody supports the channel, so uh, I'm not getting paid for this. I just thought they were really cool clamps. Thought maybe somebody would be like, hey, you know, this will work great to hold up some panels with. If you're, if you're going up door panels for cabinets, it would be another great option to use this. Um, so, yeah, there you go. Rockler clamps couple of one two by four CNC or a drill press you're off to the races thanks for looking have a great day